Hello fans and collectors, this is G-Man with G-Man Toy Reviews. Today I got a special treat for you. I have the Reactor Glow Godzilla. Yes, the glow in the dark Reactor Green. 1994, reissued, redempt, and used over and over and over by NECA. Yes, this is the hard one to get or find, and the prices are outrageous on eBay and Amazon's right now. In fact, I found price ranges jumping so much, I had to make sure what I was reading was correct. I see them as low as 167 as high as $400. And there's one guy out there on eBay who's selling a Godzilla 1962, Godzilla versus Kong, and a Glow Reactor for $1,000. That's over $500 each for each figure. That's insane. But again, like I said, prices run between $168 and $420, depending on shipping and other things, because you gotta add shipping, so you know that's gonna be anywhere between $11 all the way up. Some people might give you free shipping if they're like, one guy has one for $260 with free shipping. Well, no wonder, it should be free for almost $260. Bucks. But, hey, what do I know? I'm just a collector. I got this uh, limited edition crate from a friend who actually had a subscription to Loot Crate. He didn't like Godzilla, and he let me have this for the price you could buy them at the store. I kid you not. He said, hey, give me 20 bucks, it's yours. I gave him 20 bucks. And ta-da, I have my very own Loot Crate. But this was back in April of 2017. It's been a while, okay? And a lot of people don't understand what's so big about this product. Well, one, it was a Loot Crate exclusive and NECA only let them have it. So that's how this is became so outrageously expensive. But it was also based on another one that everyone liked. And I'm definitely gonna tell you that because I'm gonna show you right now off to your left, Burning Godzilla. Let me see if I can get it back there. Burning Godzilla, let me kind of straighten this a little bit. Burning Godzilla, which is actually cousin to the glow crate, okay? I, I'm just letting you know. Uh, burning Godzilla is translucent with the orange, okay? To make him like burning with the reddish orange color. It don't glow in the dark. It's the same figure, okay? But there's a lot. This is a 94 uh, costume. And it was, should have been based on the 95 costume, which they were not. So what you got are two imposters of the costume, but they're trying to make it look like, well, you know, just a little white lie. Not a full lie, but just a little white lie, which most collectors like me didn't kind of mind. Because all you had was either S.H. Monster Art, which did make the better Burning Godzilla figures. And then they made the ultimate Burning Godzilla figure, which was kind of nice when you got... You know, these little cloud things you could put on his arms, his hand, around his neck. It's pretty cool. Uh, I personally like these items. I think they're pretty cool. I think everyone should get one. Okay. Again, here's the burning one. Okay. Great figure to get if you don't have it. Okay. These are the old blister packs. But did you notice that the top of this, uh, the burning Godzilla is different here? Let me see if I can boom out a little bit better. There you go. See, the top here has more of a top for the vents so they could put them on hangers or whatever. And Loot Crate had theirs not one at all. It was cut off and it was like a box stylish. So that's another reason why these things are so, uh, I guess, different and easy to uh, get. And I just think, so. let me put some light on the subject here for a little bit more. There we go. Here's a little bit of light. Maybe a little too much, but that gives you some idea, okay? Um, both of them are great figures, but really, everyone's more interested in this one than this one. Um, again, this is the old blister pack that NECA used to sell. And then they went into the box versions, as everybody thought. That was so cool and keen. Okay. 
Again, most of the time you can find them at Target, Walmart, uh, Amazon, eBay. And again, if you were lucky to find one at all, because again, Loot Crate had the special rights or NECA gave them the exclusive on this one-of-a-kind, quote-unquote, 1994, which was actually not true for the 95 suit, and it's green. Does it glow in the dark? Yes, it does glow in the dark. It, it really does. Uh, it's a nice product. Uh, I, I think if you don't want have one it's it's more of a, drawn to the collectors or the completeness people who want it in their collection at all cost uh, I gave you the price range uh, you have to decide if it's worth it or not and again if you don't like it I understand okay it, it, the price sometimes can stop a collector dead in his track because you, you know these, these things are not cheap anymore and I'm just letting you know, as a collector myself, if I had to buy it now, I would look for the cheapest one I can find and, and be careful because scalpers don't just nail you on the price. Now they're nailing you on the shipping. Okay, I'm just letting you know that. This has been G-Man with G-Man Toy Reviews. Sign it off. Peace.